welcome back to my channel Haro Hobby Gaming and in this episode of If a Coach I'm gonna try a solo text stand story with the Naga yes mm, Naga is my main battle cruiser assault battle cruiser on live server but mm, I don't ever try to solo text stand story and this is the bad hair day from Caldari. And this is the best fitting, I think, for solo story with 100 maximum brains, 100 kilometers. And even if you already know what is the Naga, but let's introduce this beautiful ship once more. Caldari Nega. Yes, this is the battle cruiser class, and they can equip large rifled railgun, and they specialists to do it. And if you can see, they can use one medium drone, six large railguns, three middle slots, five low slots and three combat rigs and six navigation rigs so um if you're asking how can the battle cruiser use a large railgun for grid i mean large railgun it is on their raw bonus you can see the first raw bonus was minus 95 percent large railgun power grid need it means you just need a few power grid to equip one large railgun that's very nice and minus 50 percent large railgun capacitor need that's very nice too because better cruiser just have about four thousand and i mean three thousand to five thousand capacitor capacity so this row bonus is very nice for Naga and the pedal cruiser, and for the next bonus was advanced pedal cruiser engineering. So you don't need large rail guns. I mean large rail gun skills to use the this pedal cruiser to fully. Uh, I mean full bonus with full bonus, and if you can get your advanced battle cruiser engineering to level 5 you can get plus 25 percent large railgun damage and plus 25 percent large railgun optimal range which is nice addition to your railgun and for advanced battle cruiser command you can get plus 25 percent flight velocity more and minus four percent signature radius up to minus 20% signature radius which is very nice and you can see uh, this better cruiser have maximum navigation at 304.50 ms we can upgrade with acceleracy uh, I mean auxiliary thruster but mm, I think we don't need that okay now let's go to the fitting explanation for this story that's 10 the weapon is core C type large rifle rail guns. Mm, this is very very expensive right now at Leaf Surfer. It's about 200 million ESK one one piece. So you can buy another Naga if you buy two of these large rifle red gun. That's very crazy. So we got six of them. Um before the dead space is being nerfed. The price of this Corsi type large rail gun is just about 25 to 30 million ESK. But mm, you know the demon and the supply because the dead space was nerfed. Was going, uh, I mean, it's going crazy. The price is up to 200 million ESK. That's crazy. So to fill the six, six slot of weapon, you need about 1.2 billion yes uh, trillion ESK. <laughs> I 
आई मीन बिलियन में भी ओके टू हंड्रेड बिलियन ई एस के अब सॉरी 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 वन पॉइंट टू बिलियन ई एस के टू फिल ऑल ऑफ दिस स्लॉट ऑफ वेपन ओके फॉर द मिड स्लॉट वी कैट हाले टारगेट पेंडर विच इज अ मास फॉर स्नाइपर शिप लाइक दिस नाइगा रॉक और एनीथिंग और ओराइकल टोर्नेडो दिस इज वेरी वेरी मच नीडेड बिकॉज इफ यू हैव टू ऑफ दिस यू विल एडजस्ट योर एनिमी फ्रिगेट्स एंड डिस्ट्रॉयर बाय अबाउट सेवेंटी परसेंट सो दे कैन बी एशियर टू हिट दिस इज वेरी वेरी नाइस टू हैव एंड दिस इज जस्ट फॉर सेफ्टी मेजर्स इफ दे आर नॉट दैट even from 100 km approach <laughs> okay and this is mk7 hammerhead we don't need that just for if anything goes close to us but the tvs is very very small okay for the low slots we got micro web drive this is uh this is not mandatory but I think we must to bring the micro web drive because we don't stay in one place and just shooting. We need to move. We need to kite the enemies. So our damage will be very very minimal. And the next was Centus C type large shield booster. This is the best for now. For shield booster, um, this is for repair our shield, and three eagle tracking computer. This is the best tracking computer for now, and it upgrade your base range, base optimal range, and base uh, accuracy fall off by seventeen point nineteen percent per modules, which is very nice, and it can be upgraded. If we activate all of these modules, so um, for our weapon with this fitting, we can have optimal range about seventy five point twelve kilometers, and accuracy fall of about twenty uh thirty five point thirty nine kilometers. So our maximum range for optimal, I mean efficient shooting was about. 110 kilometers which is nice for battle cruisers and our activation time was about 5.7 second okay now let's go to the combat rigs the combat rigs was railgun collision accelerator 3 it upgrade our damage bonus about 17.5% and two of railgun burst aerator three it's adjust your activation time of course we need that because we want to kill the enemy more fast now let's go to the navigation rigs now why i use this dynamic fuel valve three enable capacitor need adjustment minus 40 percent so you will um, your need for capacitor for your micro web drive will be more fewer and it is nice to have so we can move and from the from here to here from here to there without worry about our capacitor because micro web press micro web drive i mean is draining our capacitor more fast than the afuta burner so we need this and the second was capacitor capacity multiplier by 22.5 percent because the caldari naga um i think this ship just has or just have a little capacitor capacity so we need to upgrade it and this is the capacitor control circuit 3 to recharge i mean to adjust your capacitor recharge time by minus 17.5 percent even with that rigs our capacitor will be depleted at one minute and one second <laughs> look at that maybe because 
we use a afterburner we use a large shield booster that's why our <coughs> capacitor du duration is just one minute and one second but it's not the real i mean it's not the how that it's work this is just uh, display for if we activate our modules all of them and we will be depleted in one minute and one second so after we start battle we activate the micro warp drive activate the shield booster it will be depleted after one minute that's how the display works not the real i mean um, it's not it's not real in here we don't want to our capacitor is depleted very very fast okay now let's try to solo this bad hair day walk at 100 kilometers So our strategy was we must stay as far as possible because our approach setting is maximum at 100 kilometers. So we will be on that range. Okay, first wave, six enemies. And okay. Okay, let's kill that Condor, Cormoran. Oh, look at that. From this range, it's Grace. Okay, nice. Okay, if we turn on one of these modules, let's see how much range we have. Optimal range about. One point uh, one hundred and six kilometers. Oh, nice. Okay. So um, we we are still safe from these rains. And let's see how we can align there. This is that okay? So we can always approach the enemies, uh, I mean the station, so we can be more easily to avoid the enemy's swarm. Mm, so our limits was about 3,000 every cycle, I think. Mm, 3,300 every cycle. Okay. I think this will take a long of time. Oh. Wow. Our optimal damage was about five thousand and three four thousand maybe. Okay. when you can look at our capacitor is <laughs> it's deflated it's about 70 72 percent 71 percent OK, 
Okay, maybe let's approach at 75 kilometer. Turn on our 75. Our maximum speed was 100 and uh, I mean 1400. Okay. That's how much. And we will be sure to kill the enemies with our optimal range. Um, just be careful uh, before we end the last enemies of the wave. We must approach to another maybe the station from the opposite of the uh, uh what's this name beacon yes you must go to the to the opposite of the beacon mm, i think 120 kilometers is enough Oh, it's penetrates. Nice. Mm, let's try to turn off our target painter. How much damage we get? It's still the same. Yeah, okay. Maybe because the raven, I I mean the battle step is still countable at as large. They have large signature. Okay, now let's align to this point and turn on our Micro up drive. Okay, which one is okay? This one. Boom. Okay, enough. Boom. Boom. One shot. Nice. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, one cycle shot. Nice. Let's approach to. Seventy-five. Okay, let's set approach to seventy-five. Nice. Maybe we need to recharge at station because I think our capacitor is depleted. It's still sixty-three percent, but I can see this is just still on second wave.
Okay, good. We are still on the safe frames from the enemies. Always look at how much range we are from the beacon. That's the strategy. I mean, that's the first strategy of soloing any missions. Always look at how much range between you and the beacon. That's the first point to survive the, the solo story. I mean, if you run uh, not faction ship and just a regular ship, you need to do that. Because maybe if you run a faction ship, like maybe Shinobal or maybe Stronger Vindicator or anything, you can just face tank them. And you don't need to measure your range from the beacon of the enemies. And the second tips measure the range between you and your enemies. I mean, in this case, in that stand story, there is battleships. They can hit you from maybe 90 to 100 and more. But if you are lucky enough, they are just using short range weapon that is uh, very enjoyable i think you can look at that uh, our first wave they don't have any long range what on the second wave they don't have long range too let's see what about the third wave and we still don't use okay line dude here turn on your micro web drive once and lock the enemies Okay, this condor need lesson. Okay, nice. Okay, stop. Mm, I think it's just one condor get close to us i think this is the third wave too okay let's do this so the rest of them is just cruiser and battleship and one battle cruiser okay So if you are using large gun, okay, the tips again for using large gun, try to align to your enemies to straight like this. You can see this is uh, more straight and nice. So you can hit your enemies more easily. You don't need more tracking speed and you don't stress out your weapon and you can hit the enemy easily okay i think we approach this raven 
course. Outset of our optimal range, let's just use our tracking computer because we need more range to attack the enemies. For I mean for optimal range. So if any of you don't know how the optimal range and the accuracy follow works, um, I can explain a little. So the optimal range is how much range you can hit your enemies by about 100% chance. You can look at my gun attack the pit raven always hits penetrates smash because we are on oh glances of there's always tends to that but it's a little chance but you always it's about 95 percent hit penetrates and smash yeah and below uh, i mean after that I mean, after 75 kilometers to 110, like I mentioned before, it's about um, minus 50% for your accuracy. You will be more like glances of grace and anything. It will reduce your damage. So if you have tracking computer like this, you want to use that if you are on accuracy fall of range. But if we are at optimal range like this and we are still safe from the enemies, I think we don't need to use the tracking computer. Okay, nice. Yeah, you can see our image was glances of grazes, grazes, grazes. That's on our accuracy fall off range, but it still can hit or penetrate. But the chance was lower than. If we are on op our optimal range, okay. And why I like the rail guns the chance to do smash and penetrate is, I think, it's very high. Guys and it's very very nice look at that penetrates penetrates it's so hits and penetrates there is 200 differences in damage i think smashes 3000 So I still don't know how much percentage of penetrates, smash, whack. I still don't know the calculation, I think. Uh, I mean, uh, let's take a look how much damage. Oh, so the hits was about 1,800, one 1,600. 1700 and the penetrates was about 2000. Oh, 2100. You can look at that. It's it's like about mm, 200 to 300 differences and smash. 
smash was about 2500 so it's like 700 differences in damage okay maybe we can calculate it later Penetrates. Where is the smash? Oh, smash two hundred and uh, two thousand and five hundred. Okay. So, mm, can we make a conclusion for smash? I mean, for penetrates, it's about two thousand uh, twenty percent upgrade damage. Maybe that smash is fifty percent. I think. I think it's oh, almost almost three thousand. Nice. Wow, three thousand again. Wow, nice. So the safe range from. The enemy is now is seventy five kilometer is still safe. Okay, this is the last enemies of the third wave, and we are at one hundred and seventy kilometer seventeen kilometers from the beacon. I think that's good enough. Okay, if you asking why we need to measure our range from us, I mean from our ship to the enemy beacon, because every new wave we need to prepare to lock the enemies. And because of the new pads, I mean the new behavior of the NBC. The destroyer and the brigade's tendency to swarm us and get close to us is very very high so that's why we need to measure our range to the enemy beacon and i like i think the efficient range from us to the beacon is about 100 to 120 that's a nice range and if we finish this wave and our range is still at 100 kilometers that's a goal i mean i like that okay and the strategy after i mean before we kill the last enemies of the wave we need to repeat that so you can remember the step always align to the station i mean you know, it is easier to warp to any of this i mean anomaly or maybe station ah look at that okay it's good nice Okay, stop here. We can kill that Elipity Condor. Whoa. <laughs> we can kill them easily. 
Nice. This strategy works for me greatly. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Alip Condor 2 Interceptor is killed by one, I mean, one self hope. Which is good enough. Okay, let's approach. Nice. This is the fourth wave, and there's already three elites on this fourth wave. So, before running a solo story, you need to training. I mean, you need to training how to approach, how to align, how to orbit, especially how to kite your enemy's ship okay kill the easy target first okay there is four battleships and one of them is ally Ooh, that's pain. That will take a long of time to kill. Okay. Yeah, nice. Oh my goodness. There is one, two, three, four, five. Battleship Raven uh, <laughs> Let's just approach them I think it's safe to approach the enemy mm. Um, for new pets, uh, they rework the NPC. If we go to the two hundred and fifty kilometers, I mean the range between us and the beacon is one two hundred and fifty kilometers. The enemy will go back to zero. Hmm. I think that. That will be easier to us to measure the enemy, how much range they have. Be uh, before, if we going like this, and we are approaching the enemies, we don't know how much the exact range. If we go to the station, and we want to go back. If you wrong calculated that, you will be swam in the middle of your enemies. And I think 
the paths of the NBG will be go back to zero. I mean the on the beacon. It's very very nice. And it's more enjoyable to do story now. Okay. First battleship. Boom. Nice. Let's kill that elite force, I think. Maybe we can try to approach that elite PT Raven. Did he can hit us from this range? Or did he can? It's almost 75 kilometer. Okay, this is safe haven. I mean, this is safe range to kite. Uh, I mean, the whole wave of enemies. Okay, the enemies is using models. Uh, <laughs> Their shield extender is ridiculously a lot of shield they have. So, um, talking about Nega, Nega now is, I mean, we can fly the ship to PvP, and but the role of the Nega is special ship to bombard the enemy with long range railguns. And we will be on back who I mean on the very very back from the line of our friends and fleets and aliens. Okay, it's very long time to kill Elite PT Raven Striker. But it's fine, as long as we don't get hit by the enemy's missile. What? He used the shield extender again. Whoa.
Okay, talking about um, the efficient of railguns. If you look at the damage type, we have thermal damage, which is you can look from our defense. Oh, sorry, kinetic. I think if you look at our defense, kinetic don't have. I mean, the base defense of kinetic and thermal is very very low. Even for shield, armor, and structure, they are low at thermal and kinetic. That's why I like the rail guns. Okay, uh, that shield extender is annoying. And we are at what? 160 kilometer already <laughs> okay oh the animation of railgun is lovely look at that jump jump Zoom, zoom. Okay, the elite kills. Nice. One million and five hundred thousand. So we can say on the first battle we are untouched sable. Look at our shield is still at 100 percent. So maybe next time we don't need mm, the shield booster I think. But maybe that was lucky I think or maybe the enemy can hit us at 75 kilometers. We must experiment on that. Okay, nice. And I think we can Ifka killing all of these three.
<coughs> okay, for bad hair day, the reward was three million, uh, three hundred million ESK. And the battle just two, so that's very nice. It's not like that angel or devil which has three battles. It is crazy if you want to solo, it will take a long of time. Okay, the battleship left. And we are at 140 kilometers. Okay. So talking about assault battle cruiser, there is another. I'm sorry. There is another assault battle cruiser which use rail guns. It is Talos, but um, Talos is more like brawler ship, and they then he use the snap nose one. And none other assault battle cruiser was Oracle and Tornado. The Oracle seem like mm, seem like the Naga. This Oracle is tended to use large razor and the beam laser one which has a long of range. And look at that. Bonus for large, large Razor Capacitor Need. The first bonus already minus 50%, and the second bonus was minus 50% again. Wow, that's crazy. So you, you just need a little of capacitor to activate laser. Okay, and look at that, the tornado. Mm, the tornado was very nice too. Okay. We have bonus for minus 25% large cannon activation time and plus 5% large cannon accuracy fall off. Okay. Okay, the last one. Is there a fifth fifth? I don't know. One hundred and twenty nine kilometers from the enemy beacon. Okay, I think this enemies, the last enemies is helpless. You don't even move. 
just move a little look at that our approach just at 16 uh, 60 55 60 just on that range of speed Okay, fourth wave done. Boom. Oh, this is the last wave of the first battle. Okay, nice. Okay, okay, let's look that battleship. Let's see what we get. Okay, wow. Gallows, large rabbit, sheriff, large shield, extender, basic magnetic field. Okay, nice. Okay. Now let's continue on the next part of the second battle. Um, before that, we must scan system and communicate again with Connie Opato. And then there is it, the second beacon. Okay, let's move. Okay, we are arrived at Nalfula. Yes, this is the second beacon of the bad hair day. And this is bad hair day too, and there will be maybe four wave or five wave. And on this battle, I'm gonna try. I'm changing one. I mean two modules. The one is shield booster. I'm changing it to magnetic field stabilizer to upgrade our damage and activation time, and one more target painter. We are gonna try with this fit. This is full DPS and sniper fit. And let's try with this fit to finish the story. Okay. Let's. Oh, you, before that, our damage was upgraded about 85 DPS. And our cold activation time, what? was about 5.45 seconds okay now let's up, up at 100 kilometers whoosh rising the moon <laughs> Okay, first wave already 10 enemies. Nice. Now let's approach to that direction. And let's wait. Okay, there is two enemies who are getting close to us very fast. This one. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. And if we activate the back magnetic field stabilizer, it will be one hundred one thousand and four hundred twenty five point twenty seven. Okay, nice, very nice. Okay, let's approach the enemies. We are so far from the enemies. I hope the enemy still can reach us at seventy five kilometers. If we can be hit by the enemies at seventy five kilometers, so it's it's not safe to use this kind of fitting. I mean with no defensive defensive model but if the enemy still can hit us from this range oh that's gonna be very very nice the first wave with already three battleships okay so the first battle is um after i look at my record time it take about 48 to 50 minutes to finish so maybe the second battle i mean the second battle i think it needs two hours maybe um, and our activation time was at 4.42 seconds which is nice Okay, nice. Okay, what our capacitor? <laughs> our capacitor was the plate very fast with the best with the magnetic field on. Okay. So what happened if we go out or maybe walk out to the station? Are they gonna back to the beacon at zero or they don't? Maybe we will try on this battle. The peak at eighty four kilometers. Okay. 
Okay, I think you don't need the target painter. So we can preserve more capacitor. Mm, two battle ships at 75 kilometer range and they still can't hit us. Okay. Okay, nice. The last enemies of this wave. Wow, two smash. So without the target painter on, we can preserve more capacitor. Okay, so that's the strategy. We we don't need the target painter hitting the battleships, and if we don't activate the target painter, we can preserve our capacitor. Look at that. Our capacitor is filled slowly, filling up. To seventy percent, seventy one percent, seventy percent again. So it will be on that range. Oh, we are at sixty nine kilometers, which is bad. Let's align to this direction and let's go. Okay, which one lock? Okay, lock. Okay, there's only two. We need to be careful. Kill that. Nice. Okay, turn off our booster.
Whoa, one cell phone and is that okay? Nice. Okay, there is a rifle near us and we must be careful so we are not at below I mean at below 75 kilometers let's kill that rifle first Wow, this mess was about 4,000. That's crazy. Okay, uh, for the first wave and the second wave, the strategy is still the same. Uh, what, I mean, align to another opposite from the enemies and keep your reins keep your optimal range from your enemies it's still the same maybe it will be different from wave 3 and wave 4 because there will be more frigates and destroyer who came close to us to swarm us with their scram with their uh, web and anything we must be careful and we won to be as far as possible from the enemy beacon our capacitor was depleted at 55 54% uh, okay I think let's turn off this target painter. We still can easily hit the enemies if they are cruiser, battle cruiser, and uh, battle ships. We will be actively using this target painter if we are killing the frigates and destroyer. Okay, three weather ship left, and we are still untouchable.
Okay, they are rifle and they are using rail guns. Come on. I think we must tell the developer to properly fit their and I mean the enemy ship. Okay, nice. So if the enemies can hit us from these strings, it's this fitting is way more better than before. Because we don't need any defenses. We just need to upgrade our range, our attack, our attack activation time. And we are good to kill all of the enemies. I'm still thinking, am I lucky on this battle? I mean on the story? Because the enemy can hit us at all. Okay, where are we at? Okay, 90 kilometers from the beacon.
85 kilometers let's line with the opposite of the enemies and turn on our micro web drive okay let's lock that lock that lock that lock that lock that okay unlock this okay let's kill this Nice. Okay, this is the third wave of this battle. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. We kill the enemies fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boom, boom. Okay, let's kill that more. Boom. Okay, let's count the battleship, four battleship on third wave. Okay. Nice. Kill the more again. And apparently we don't need that target painter anymore. The frigates and these are all, all gone. Okay. Okay. We are hit by the enemies. Which one? The Speed Raven, I think. Seventy five kilometers is fine, I think. Okay, so seventy five is good. So, maybe mm, I think. That the enemy's optimal range of i mean the missiles range from the enemies was about 72 73 and if you are at 75 it, it means we are very very safe wow you can be hit okay 70 75 it's not safe Let's approach at 80. Let's try. Okay, we are at 80. Let's try if we can hit by the enemies
and we are not okay 80 is safe range Okay, stop the micro warp drive. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we can be hit. Let's approach at 80 kilometers. Which one can hit us? Oh, this one. This one is, oh, at. Okay, okay. Nah, from 82 kilometers, they can't hit us anymore. <laughs> Oops. Wrongly targeted the target painter. Wow, XT3 still hit. Okay, let's try from active XT5. XT6 is good. Okay, we are at 86 kilometers from the enemies. Okay, we are good. Oh, there is a missile. Okay. We are good at this range.
Okay, you are good. Okay, this is 72 kilometers. They can hit us. Mm, I think I don't think so. Okay, maybe after this, um, for the fourth wave, we are gonna try to run from the enemies until 250 kilometers from Beacon. Let's try that. Let's try. Let's try if the patch is really, really work. Okay, let's align to the station. Okay, fourth wave. How much is the enemies? 24. Okay. Let's try. Mm, from the beacon, where is the beacon? Okay, 132 kilometers. One hundred and sixty-seven. Okay, almost uh, almost two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and nearest one from us is that PT Condor, two PT Condor, and two PT Cormoran. And 221, okay, the enemy is getting closer, can we reach 250, okay, we can, okay, look at that, the enemy is get, get back to the beacon, okay, nice. 
Okay, I think let's let's stock first. I think to recharge our shield and capacitor and finish the, the story. Okay, let's go to the next part of the battle.